Hi, welcome back to AstroPix. About two years ago, I brought this F4 800mm Newtonian from Altair. I've used it a good number of times now. I'm going to share some images with you later. But all this video is, is just a brief overview of what I found good and what I found bad. So without further ado, let's do this. Welcome back to the channel. As I said in the intro, I'm going to be talking about today this Newtonian. It's an 800mm F4. Um, it's been uh, a fantastic scope over the last two years that I've been using it. And I'll put some images at the end of the video to show you what I've have been using it for. But predominantly it's been to be close-ups of like the Pac-Man and the Wizard, uh, right in the heart of the Heart Nebula. Um, it's just been it's been great to use great fun to use There are some additional bits obviously I've, I've added to the um, To the, the scope just to make it that little bit more easier to use one being that the Lozmandi plate It just holds it nicely and securely in the EQ6R Pro It does come with a normal dovetail, but I just find that Lozmandi helps um, stop with tube flex and it just holds it a lot more securely into the mount um, I've also put an, a ZWO electri electronic focuser on here. Um, you hear various stories about Newtonians drifting in and out of focus, um, but I've, I've never found that with this particular uh, Newtonian. The reason why I had that put on was um, just so, because I use a lot of mono now, uh, when I'm using the filter wheel, it, it automatically focuses as it change filters. But generally I have it set to refocus every 45-50 minutes anyway. Uh, but that's been great. But you will have to get an additional, if you are looking at buying this scope and attaching the uh, autofocuser, you will have to get a, a bracket to hold the focuser on. Uh, it's, it's a Wager. Uh, um, I'll put the link in the description below anyway. Um, and it fitted on there, no problems at all. Um, at the moment I've got my colour camera attached. Um, to a coma corrector, the Maxfield coma corrector. Um, and the reason why I'm shooting colour at the moment is I'm hunting a few galaxies and it's just a lot more convenient, uh, especially for the limited times and limited skies we've had recently. It's just easier to shoot colour. Uh, collimation hasn't been too difficult. Um, I've been using these uh, Farpoint collimation kits. Yes, they are quite expensive, but when you are shooting F4 and faster, um, Newtonians can be a little bit fussy and collimation has to be correct uh, otherwise you can have some unusual shaped stars um, and I've found that the collimation is, takes roughly five minutes to do it's not difficult um, and this tends to hold its collimation reasonably well um, but I, just out of general best practice I collimate it every time I use it and I always do it outside after it's been outside for a while some people like to collimate the, before they go out, um, but I like to let the tube get down to the ambient temperature and then collimate it. And I found then that that seems to hold then for the, for the night. If you do get a significant temperature adjustment, I would recommend that you maybe check your collimation through the night. Um, you have to excuse the cables. Like I say, I'm in the middle of doing a project on M51 at the moment. Um, but on the whole, I found the scope exceptional. The only downside, which I'm going to show you some photos shortly, uh, well, video shortly, are the, uh, the light leak from the rear of the scope, but that's very common with Newtonians. Um, something I am going to do in the summer, 
is to address that and I've been in touch with Ian at uh, Ian Knight at Altair and he's going to print me uh, um, um, a mask to go over the mirror and I'm also going to attempt at uh, just trying to tune this this a little bit more just to see what we can what the capabilities of this scope are so I'm going to look to flock the, in the inside of the tube but it has got a matte finish already uh, it doesn't give off too much reflection but I just want to boost the contrast a little bit in my images so I am going to look to to flock the inside and also I'm going to look to paint um, the inside of the uh, secondary mirror just to get rid of any reflections and glare off there. One thing I have found that's not an issue with this scope is the uh, protruding focuser into the tube that doesn't seem to be an issue and I've also the uh, coma corrector is at the correct position so that when inserted doesn't go into the tube either because you can get some uh, light reflecting in, into the coma corrector and again giving you some issues on that one. So I found, like I said, I found the scope really, really good fun to use. I don't think you'd be disappointed in buying one of these if you were looking to um, to buy one. I think at the point of this video, they're approximately £500. And for an F4 800mm scope, and if you were to buy that in, a, in an APO, I dread to think what the numbers would be. You're talking probably three or four thousand pounds for the for the equivalent so um yeah i think if you are looking to get into astrophotography uh, a newtonian is a great way to go but you've just got to be bear in mind you just got to get used to that collimation and after a, a doing that a couple of times you are not going to find it an issue whatsoever so don't let that put you off at all so um i'm just going to share a couple of videos now um where i can show the light leaks and i'll give you a close-up of the bracket and I'll leave you at the end of that with some images that I've taken over the last uh, 24 months with the with the scope. There's quite a gap in the, in the in the photos. There'll be a lot more, but as you're probably aware from my other video, I was actually incapacitated for 12 months due to an ACL injury. So um, yeah, it's a, I had a bit of a hiatus, shall we say? But um, anyway, I'm going to leave you with a couple more bits and pieces on on this and uh, some videos as well. There you go, just a short video, just giving you a little bit of an update on you know, how I found the scope, um, what I'd look to do to improve it, but being like I said, on the whole, it's an exceptionally great scope anyway. I'm just trying to boost its capabilities. Um, so what I'll do following this video is I'll follow up with some um, videos on, on how I get on with the, the fine tuning, then that'll be during the summer. Um, when I say summer, probably May onwards. Um, nervously looking forward to doing that. I'm not going to lie. I am a bit concerned about dismantling all this and not being able to put it back together. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. 
Um, so on that, I will say goodbye. I wish you all clear skies and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching.